Hi guys, China here. Welcome back to my channel, That Girl China. I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. Now, right before my intro, I um, re-posted um, or re-showed the tote bags that I was going to give away when I hit the 225 subscribers. But then again, uh, Mother's Day came um, around and I was like, you know what? No, Mother's Day is like a priority. Let's get those out first. So I'm just going to bump up the subscriber count up a little bit. So when I hit 285 subscribers, I will be drawing for um, those um, three totes that I showed you. If you've forgotten what was in those totes, I will link the video down below. The good news is you do not have to watch the entire video because the um, items that are in the totes or the giveaways, which there are three, um, are at the very beginning of the video so you don't have to watch it all the way through um, in case uh, you've already seen it. Now I have a lot of items and I have to be out the door by a certain time because I'm meeting somebody um, but I wanted to squeeze in this um, Dollar Tree haul. So let me get adjusted here and let's dive right in because I've found a lot of super cool stuff and if you haven't been to the Dollar Tree lately um, now would be the time to go because they are putting out the most adorable things ever. Starting with these, what they are calling tumbler with a straw. These items are like, these tumblers are gigantic guys. They're huge. Here's my hand for comparison. They are so big and they screw on and off, which is great. You know, so in case it gets like knocked over, you don't have to be worrying about, you know, the cap just popping off like it does with that palm tree tumbler like it really doesn't screw on um but these are there's a lot of things that you could do with this what i would do is use this as a gift box so if you have a you know um a teen a tween a, a little girl or maybe even a little boy um that has an upcoming birthday how cool would it be to put their birthday gift inside of here i would get you know maybe some of that crinkly paper um, and then, you know, some stickers and some toys and whatever it is that you could fit in here. Um, you could even put in a gift card uh, to the Dollar Tree, which I think they would like because then they can run through the store and pick out the items that they like the most. But look how big it is. And there is dealing, deal, dealing, there is detailing of like that cross hatch pattern that is on real ice cream cones so i only found it in two colors so you have a straw here um also so you get this one that comes in this bright pink white straw and i found let me be careful don't want to shake the camera i found this white one here with a pink straw same size really really large um or if you want to put your cocktail in there um or um what it, would it be a smoothie there's a lot of smoothie or for those of you who do uh, maybe protein shakes, you need those big, big cups. Um, uh, that's just some items or some ideas that I came up with. They could also be centerpieces um, for a birthday party, like if you're doing an ice cream or some kind of theme that this could tie into. Um, maybe put some pebbles or something to weight them down and then put them as centerpieces on um, your tables. That's another idea. Or you can use them as stocking stuffers and put little cute little items in there. Hold off till Christmas time and um, use them for that as well. So those are just some ideas for those. Um, I also found a glow axe. Lasts for hours. So those two tumblers, um, I got a couple of them. I'm going to be donating them to MD Anderson. Um, also picked up this. I thought this was really cute. Um, it's a axe and it glows in the dark. So as you guys know... Um, it says, it gives you the instructions on what to do with this, and I can feel it through the packaging. Usually you have to kind of like crack at it, it'll start glowing, and then it'll glow for a few hours. We've even put them in the freezer, and that kind of like extends their life, um, a little bit. Not a lot, but it extends their life a little bit. And they sell all kind of varieties, but I picked this one up because usually they're just like bracelets, necklaces um sticks um glow sticks 
Um, uh, we also use them when we go walking at night uh, because it's like really, really dark um, when we go through the neighborhood and we don't want to get hit by a car. And so we use them um, so that we can be seen um, in it. Sometimes also we carry flashlights, but carrying flashlights, it's a pain in the butt. So this I think would make for a really cute gift. Um, you could do a glow in the dark party. Um, you could throw these inside the pool and have the kids diving for them at night. I think these are many uses for this and again a um an axe and so that's why i picked it up oh if you're doing a lumberjack theme party you could buy these and these could be put inside of the um what are they a little called the little gift bags that you give away they have a name can't think of what it's called but i bought several of these and i'm going to be donating them to md anderson okay also found this um dvd yeah it's a dvd it's not a blu-ray seven seas pirates and it's that new you know computer animated style um art um or animation it looked interesting it is 80 minutes long and for a dollar i thought it was a really good deal um i purchased several of these actually um for my brother and for his um for his roommate um um, remember, you know, as I forementioned, um, I have a brother who's autistic. He's 33 and he likes, he does like cartoons and I thought it would be something that he may like. Um, so I went ahead and picked one up, but you can also pick these up to donate. Um, you know, if you do donating to like Toys for Tots, um, and it looks like it would be a really good movie. It looks like it's made in very high quality. I don't know if you can see, um, or it will focus enough for you to see that, but um, it's not like a Disney or anything like that. Viva Pictures is the name of the brand. Um, never heard of them, but it looked interesting, so I picked that up for him. Okay, another item that I picked up was this super adorable, um, what is it, Crazy Art Round Jigsaw Puzzle, 350 pieces. And what I liked about it is the look of this little town hopefully hopefully this camera will let you see what i'm seeing because you know when it's small little items like this um it's just very you know it's a little church in this little house and there's somebody at a well and then their carriage with the horse i don't know if you guys can see it um hopefully you can there's just something i don't know it just draws me to it um this kind of scenery okay those of you who are familiar with um what is it called there's a uh, it's in black and white uh uh oh my god i can't remember what it's called it's gonna come to me but there's an episode and it's called willoughby um god i wish i could remember the name of the show the twilight zone the twilight zone if you guys know what i'm talking about there's an episode where this guy goes to willoughby um and this just reminds me of like what Willoughby would be like okay so let me know if you um know what this is because me and my sons have an inside we have like an inside joke amongst us among, because of that episode of Willoughby on the Twilight Zone so if you know just um type in Willoughby if you can spell Willoughby um Willoughby in the um comment section if you know the episode that I'm talking about and does that not look like that town this is Willoughby okay all right, let's move along. Enough about that. All right, I'm always trying to look for stuff for teenagers so that I can donate um, to MD Anderson because there's not just kids there and adults. Um, there's a lot. There's teens there um, and tweens as well, um, unfortunately. But I wanted to find something fun. So let's say you want to have like a disco party and you want to have it in your room. Okay, look no further than the Dollar Tree. These are phone disco lights. So apparently, I can't open them, guys. I'm sorry, um, because these are going to be gifted. But it connects to the USB um, on the phone. Light up, lights up, and flashes. Get your groove on. I know that's what's up. Okay, so it says plug into your um, your phone's charging port and play music. No installation required. Compatible with most smartphones. This um, device complies with Part 15 of the FCC restriction rules. So um, at a dollar, at a dollar, these are so adorable. Let's say you're throwing, uh, what is it, 70s, 70s? Where, what's, 
the okay the disco era well, that was the 70s right okay so you're throwing a disco party for your kids 70s era everybody's wearing all that cool clothes these would make for really cute um little treats for their um treat bags um and at a dollar you can certainly afford to buy everybody one because they're so cute okay another item that i found which i was super excited about um they're putting out new uh what are they called um cable protectors because you know that's the first thing that gets ruined on your phone is the charging port um that's why i have one of those uh what do they call like a charging pad uh, samsung i bought one of those and i could just sit my phone on there um to avoid as many times plugging up my um usb or my my charging cord um this says that it decorates and protects fits most charging cables keeps cable from bending and fraying i bought this one because it is a whale uh, hopefully you can see it whales are my favorite animal and not one well my favorite favorite one um, which is hard because I like orcas, but I like humpback whales. They're like my, I, I like whales, period. And I would love, love, love to like go to like Alaska and go on one of those cruise, um, those ships that they take you out to go whale watching. Now I heard they're pretty costly, but I feel like it's a justified cost because when in my life would I ever see a whale? Um, you know, never like in person up close other than on TV while David Attenborough is narrating on the Earth uh, BBC channel. Um, but I would love to see one. I've seen Shamu, yeah, I guess that counts. But no, I wanna see those really, really big humpback whales in like, in a boat. Like, I would love that, that would be so wonderful. What would suck is if you pay all that money, they take you out there, cause they can't guarantee that you're gonna see whales. Um, but anyway, let me I'm getting off track I digress they have a little whale um, phone uh, protector they had all other kinds um, pineapples and all different kind of stuff I picked the whale because the whale is cute um, I'm gonna pick up some more because um, I want to donate these as well because this is certainly something adults and um, tweens and teens alike can use and these I could donate as well. This one's going to be for me, but I'll be certain to pick up some more. Okay, guys. Now, remember, um, since I'm donating all those journals and for those of you who have kids in school and who are a huge fan of um, Dr. Seuss, um, they have all different kinds of Dr. Seuss pencils so here's one set and you are getting let's see six pencils so there's one set and it comes with um the sneetches um it looks like the grinch the horn hears a who and thing one and thing two this one um is a different variety this one's also a six pack hopefully guys these are showing up for you guys to see so this is another six pack. So this would be good for like preschoolers or um, kindergarten. Look how cute these are. Or for anybody that loves Dr. Seuss. I think Dr. Seuss is timeless. And when I was in kindergarten and I first started um, learning how to read, he I literally checked out all of his books. And I was so sad when I ran out of books to read. Um, but yeah, they're just, his art is so distinct it's so unique it's so adorable um i just love it you know what matter of fact i'm gonna throw in a picture because i drew my son and i both drew one of the little characters and i'll throw in a picture so you guys can see it um because they're just so adorable they're so whimsical and unique and it's unlike anything else and when you see a dr seuss illustration you know without a shadow of a doubt you go yeah that's dr seuss Okay, let's keep going, guys. I found this super adorable. Um, this is a blank card. And I love blank cards because they're ambiguous. You can write whatever you want in there. Um, and they give you a lot of writing space. This is from the Heartline, Connect Heartline Collection um, by Hallmark. And this says, um, hope your day is a treat. Look how adorable this is. This could be for a birthday um, I mean, it literally could just be, hey, I'm, I'm writing to say hello. And who doesn't like to get a card in the mail, especially when it's, it's unexpected. You're not expecting it and boom, you get a card in the mail. A lot of people don't do that anymore. 
And I think we need to do that more. You know, there's, it's easy to send a text, but this requires more effort to go to pick the card, to write something really cute on there, and then to mail it out. Because, you know, I think it's a dying form of art, you know, communication and writing through cards and letters. And I think it's something that we should, you know, um, start picking up on again. Um, but look how cute this card is. And at 50 cents, two for a dollar, and it's Hallmark, it's Hallmark, y'all. Hallmark. Hallmark. Okay, another thing that I picked up was, you know, Dad's Day or Father's Day is coming up. I found this book. Okay, so this is Nine Lessons I Learned from My Father, national bestseller, Murray Howe. Um, an inspiring testimonial to a remarkable dad. That uh, comment is coming from the Toronto Star. Um, you can't talk about how great Gordy was as a hockey player without also mentioning what a great person he is. He was the best player ever and even and an even better person. That's from Bobby Orr. A touching collection of stories that came out of Murray's process of writing his father's eulogy. A labor of love, the Canadian press. This seems like a really good read. It's $16.95. The original price, this is Penguin, um, uh, is the um, printing company, or what is it called? It's not the printing company. It's the label um, that it was um, published under. Um, so it looks like a really good idea to pick something up for dad. If you have a dad that likes to read, um, and at a dollar, y'all, y'all not going to find a better price. I'm even going to Walmart, which is like the largest, I think, wholesale buyer. Um, and they, they're going to give you the lowest price more than likely on anything. You're not going to find a book of that caliber at that price. And it's just a really, it looks like it would be a really beautiful read, a touching read. Okay. Speaking of dad, maybe you want to have your kids make your, their dad a, um, a card make, you know, coming from the heart, they could create their own or craft their own greeting card. So I found these pop-up stickers. You are getting eight pieces and there's like a football and they're a tie. And then maybe you have that uh, weightlifting dad, my hero, the mug that says, I love my dad. The details on here are just so adorable. He's strong, he's funny, he's daddy. I think this is so cute and again, um, great for crafting. Okay, now staying in line with stickers, remember that I said I was gonna try to focus more on boy stuff. I have a son, well, two or three sons that are obsessed with cars. Because of that, we've gone to like car shows. They like like exotics. So we go to see, you know, like Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Paganis and um, I don't know, uh, Bugattis, all kind of cars, mostly Italian, it seems. Um, but you know, they love cars and so thinking of that when i was picking these up you know these are going to be donated also to the hospital um for boys or maybe there's girls because i'm a girl now because when you're told about cars every day a hundred i i'm showing pictures of porsches every sing, every single day of my life i'm not lying to you this is the truth look at this porsche 911 gt3 rs Okay, look at this fi uh, carbon fiber. Okay, how many women know these terms? The reason that I know these terms is because I am told about cars every day. So um, with that being said, I picked these stickers up to donate for the boys that love the cars and maybe for the little girls um, that are at the hospital taking treatment. Maybe they can do little crafts or put these in their journals. And I thought these were so super cute. And again, uh, this is Jot, 15 piece. You're getting 15 pieces. And you got some race cars on here. Okay, also picked up coloring books. You gotta pick up coloring books for the kiddos. Nickelodeon, Jumbo, Coloring and Activity Set. Of course, you gotta get SpongeBob. And I also included Mickey Mouse. Um, so those are gonna be added to the donation stack. So many different coloring books. If you have not been to Dollar Tree and you have not checked out their um, coloring book section, it is gigantic. And that is inclusive of adult coloring books. Okay, now with this said here, y'all, they have this print that they have recently introduced. Um, it's new to me, I've never seen it before in prior years, but you have Jot file folders, you're getting three. 
So maybe if you have your own home office or you're trying to organize, you know, your own personal documents, your tax documents, um, receipts, what, whatever it is that you need to organize at home or your, your home office or at work, why not replace those boring manila folders with these fabulous, fabulous floral uh, print folders. So pretty. Not only do they have it in file folders, which is eight and a half by 11, for those of you who are wondering, they also have this corrugated file holder and it's in the exact same print. Hopefully you can see it and it shows you how to fold it here in the back, how to fold it. You can use this in your living room and put magazines in it um, or you can use it in your office to get um, organized. Um, and then you'll have the whole matching set. They also have it in a infinity scarf, which I thought I had, but I don't have it. I'm gonna have to pick it up. And they also have it in a tote bag, which I think I've already shown. So you can get it in a tote. You can get it in um, those file folders. You can get it in the infinity scarf. And you've got yourself quite the collection of this beautiful print. And that's what I like what um, Dollar Tree does. They put stuff in collections and so if you're wanting to get organized it's not all like you know all over the place like there's no kind of system um and then it looks tacky because you don't know where or maybe not tacky let me reword that eclectic it, it becomes eclectic which there's nothing wrong with all right to pick these up nothing um, terribly exciting unless you get super excited about killing germs um, this is 99.9% .9 effective killing viruses, bacteria, and COVID. So I bought these um, because they have Clorox in them and I like to wipe my surfaces on a daily, you know, kitchen, bathroom, that kind of stuff. Picked up several of those. I also picked up these. These are gonna be donated, guys, but these can go into your little, you know, remember I said, if you're making a little, um, using this like as a little birthday box in lieu of a bag, I found this thing called Flavor It. This is berry flavored. And you know how kids like putting on lip gloss, especially flavored lip gloss. You just, the only issue is you gotta keep them from eating it. Okay, so this one's blueberry. Um, they also had raspberry. So I picked that one up. They also had vanilla bean. I really wish this was banana. I thought it was banana, but no, it's vanilla bean. Um, still not bad, but banana would have been cooler. Um, I bought, um, you know, several of each type. This is the berry one again and tropical punch and this isn't even all of them they had more than just this um i just wanted to show you a few of the samples um great stocking stuffers great to throw in with birthday presents um and also great um these are going to be donated to md anderson because chemotherapy and um radiation therapy does tend to chap your lips um, and so that's where that's going. That's going to be going to the hospital. Um, I'm going to put the video on pause. If you'll just stick with me for just a second, I'll be right back so I can make room to bring more things into the shot. Okay, guys, and I'm back. Okay, so if you're decorating, as I've heard many people are going to be decorating um, their kitchens in the lemon theme, you need to head on over to the Dollar Tree. Look at these beautiful um, tumblers. Um, they're rather tall, very tall, very pretty. Look at the lemon print. It's so beautiful. Um, they also had this in watermelon and they also had this in strawberry. I've already shown the strawberry ones. I did not pick up the watermelon ones, but I thought they were just so pretty. You could put, you know, like a pink lemonade in here or a, um, a raspberry or even, um, you know, a, um, lemon iced tea are just oh they're just so pretty and at a dollar each a steal um they have a whole collection of all kind of lemon things there um kitchen what are they called oven mitts and pot holders and towels with all um lemons on there um another item that i came across um are these stack storage now these are for toddlers um, and they got beautiful prints. So I, at first I was like, what in the world is this? Okay, so I found it where all like the plastic dishes and stuff is at. So this is what it looks like. Um, it kind of looks like that cover on your garbage disposal. And I think it's to prevent stuff from smalling, uh, from smalling, 
from falling out. So if you have a toddler, you know, you can put little Cheerios in here or, you know, little snacks and then they can reach their little fingers in here. But if it flips over, you don't have to worry about the stuff falling out. Um, now, of course, they can drop it as they tend to do, but um, that's a whole other story. But in terms of it spilling out of this container, that it won't do. So I found it with this pink, um, with the purple and the two pink hearts. Okay, um, it doesn't say whether it's dishwasher safe um, or um, microwave. Why would you microwave that? That's a dumb statement. Retract that from the record. Um, but you probably want to hand wash it. That's what I would recommend. This one I really like. You know why? Because it has a whale on there and I love whales. This one is so adorable. It's in this, um, you know, really pretty green color. Sorry, there's something stuck on there. So cute. Same thing, you know, to keep it from falling out. And I found this adorable one, um, a koala. Look how cute this is. So this one comes with a little koala. And yeah, these are the only three. They may have more. These are the only ones that I came across. So if you have a toddler or you have a baby, eventually they're going to enter into that toddler stage and you don't want them, you know, you want to give them little snacks that they can carry around. <coughs> Excuse me. But not spill all over the back of your car um, or in your home. Um, this is a good idea and only a dollar. And they have you know, several varieties to choose from. There may have been more, I'm not sure. Those are just the ones that I came across. Okay, another items. Now, socks. Let's talk about socks. Okay, so I picked up socks for my boys. You guys already know that I always pick up socks for them. I like it because it has arch support. So they came in black. You're getting three pairs, sizes six to 12. So I picked up these. They came in this heathered gray, same thing. You can see that arch support in the middle, which I love, especially when you're doing a lot of walking. And they also came in this vibrant white, all three packs. So basically you're getting nine pairs of socks for a dollar. So I bought three for um, the three pairs, three sets for each of my sons. I have nine and nine sons no i have three sons so i got each got them socks and i also bought some to donate to md anderson um so these will fit men or teenage boys now let's talk about um these socks here by juncture now these are women's socks five to nine this one says you are my main squeeze um and speaking of lemons there's that lemon we were talking about this is the top of the sock and this is our is that right? Yeah, this is the bottom of the sock. Um, and then this is the top of the sock, okay. Also found it with a sweet as a peach. This reminds me of Thrifty Tiffany since she lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And she's always calling herself a Georgia peach. Um, okay, so these are cute five to nine women's. Um, I am very cute and of course a strawberry. I saw a lot of strawberry stuff at the Dollar Tree this year as well. And also um, with the watermelon, sweet summertime, the brand bean juncture sizes five to nine. So these are gonna be donated. Um, some other items that I picked up were satin eye masks. Now you know Mother's Day is coming up or maybe um, you fly a lot and you're taking a lot of flights and you wanna be able to sleep on the plane um, or you're gonna be taking a long trip this year. Maybe you're flying to Japan or uh, did they open up the, uh, did they lift the, um, what is it called, travel restrictions yet? <laughs> anyway, if you're planning to travel, um, you know, by planes, trains, automobiles, and you're in a situation where you can take a nap, these are really great because they give you that privacy. Also, if you have someone that's sensitive to sleeping with any type of light on, my dad is this person. My mom says that even the little blue light that's coming off of the DV, no, the Blu-ray player, he, that will keep him awake, which, oh my God, I think that's ridiculous. But hey, that, that's how he is, that's him. So um, what she does is she has to cover up the um, Blu-ray player, um, but maybe something like this would work. I don't think he would like this floral print, um, but they do have these in solid colors as well. Um, also, if you work nights, and you sleep during the day and um, you want it to be pitch black in your room and um, maybe you don't have blackout curtains. 
this would also be a really uh, good gift. Also Mother's Day, y'all. So I found these two prints. I think they're really pretty, but they also had um, solid colors and I found a zebra print and I found a leopard print. So those are some more options for you. Okay, in the hair um, section, I no, this was actually seasonal section. I found this um, red, white, and blue, the American flag scungy. It says that there are two. So you're getting a solid blue one and then you're getting the American flag style. So picture your little daughter. She has her hair, maybe a little pretty braid or a little ponytail. And then she has her, you know, little American uh, style, Americana style outfit for the 4th of July. And you can put this little scrunchie in her hair. I think it would be so cute. Or if you like wearing scrunchies, I think this is super adorable. Um, I don't have any little girls, so I'll probably keep this for myself. Okay, you know I gotta show the lashes too. Gotta show the lashes. So I found these two kind. Um, Ioni, of course. Um, they're putting out, you know, this new design with all this um, gold and glamour. Wispy doll crisscross. Ioni 3D faux mink lashes. This one's called Galaxy Jade, which I really like the name because my sister's name is Jade. I think these are so cute. She would never wear these. She's a very like um, simple girl when it comes to makeup, kind of like girl next door kind of makeup. Um, but uh, I like the name because that is her name. Her name is Jade, like that rock. Um, but these lashes are super fabulous and only a dollar. Great gifts for friends, you know, um, especially those that are love lashes, or you may want to introduce somebody. Say, hey, let me do your makeup one day. Um, someone that doesn't wear lashes and introduce them to the world of eyelashes. This one's called Botacini or Bo Botticini, Chino, Botticino. Um, these are also the, um, really dramatic beautiful eyelashes again a dollar no they do not come with glue but they sell the glue there so you're in luck and that's only a dollar too okay also came across this beautiful fabric crafter square this one is 20 by 21 and i'm thinking of making like little doll bedding because um i have a, a little bed that i'm working on it's a bunk bed that i'm refinishing by request um, and so I'm going to make some little bedding. So these are sloths on a tree with little floral um, branches. I think this is so cute. Look how cute that is. Can you see? I'm trying to keep still. Okay, so I found that and I also found this one with the little cars and the little faces. You could make, you know, little pillows, little dolls, doll clothes, um, all kind of stuff from this fabric and it's only a dollar. Um, I don't know, there's so many options for this. Um, you guys are, that are creative can probably come up with much more than I can, but I thought these were super, super cute and at a dollar, a great deal. Okay, we're coming to the end, guys. I needed a toothbrush. Um, I do have a multi-pack, but that's where, um, with the boys stuff um, that I bought for them. So that's their toothbrushes. And I don't know why I bought it for them because they use electric toothbrushes and bristles close up. And this isn't soft. And I bought it because it's a name brand. It's a good deal. And you can always get these in multi-packs, um, even in the name brand. Um, but that's a great place to pick up, um, toothbrushes. Cause I guarantee you this thing at Walmart is two something, probably two ninety seven. I would guess. Um, why would I pay that when I can get the exact same thing for a dollar? They also have Colgate, they have Crest brand toothbrushes, um, Oral-B. So, um, yeah, get your toothbrushes at the Dollar Tree. Save yourself some money. Also found these cute little earrings, which are hearts with little diamonds on them. I don't know if you could see them. I'm trying to make it as clear as I can. Okay. Um, again, Mother's Day, or if you have, you know, a teenager, a tween, these are dainty little earrings. I like, I tend to like little studs. I'm, every now and then I'll wear like bigger hoops and things like that. But for the most part, I like, you know, smaller earrings, a little bit more simple. Okay, LA Colors Dramata Lash. Again, more eyelashes, uh, more variety. This one's called Divine. This one also does not come with the glue. But LA Colors, um, also, their lashes are really good. Now, the Sassy and Chic ones, 
um, not so much wet and wild ones, not so much. Um, I tend to stick with LA Colors and also the Ioni ones. Those are the best ones that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Okay, now let me show you this and then we're going to wrap it up and I'm going to head on out. Okay, I had to bag this because the smell is very strong. This is a trick for you guys, which I learned from someone else. So I'm just passing the information along. This works incredibly well. So you've seen those little pebbles that you can put in your... Can I find them? I had to double bag it because that's how sm strong the smell is. Those little pebbles that you can put as um, a softener in your washing machine. Okay, so these are by Downey. These suckers smell really, really strong. So you're getting these little boxes. This is for one load, okay? Um, what I do with them is if you have one of those vacuums that has, you know, where it doesn't require a bag, you can put these in there and every time you vacuum, they're circulating around and they produce a beautiful smell. On top of that, they sell these in the section where the baby shower supplies are at. They come with, I think, eight, unless they've, you know, down the amount. There's these little satchels, um, and they tighten like this. I fill them with these little pebbles. There's a variety of scents if you go to the grocery store um, or to Walmart, um, but right now there's only two scents available in um, the uh, Dollar Tree. This smell is really pretty. Um, it's a beautiful floral smell. No, it's called April Fresh. What I do is I put these in my dresser drawers for my clothes so they don't get that closet smell. Um, you can also hang them in your closet um, or put them throughout your house, like hang them behind um, you know, curtains or put um, maybe one or two in the air conditioning vents and your house will smell like downy and your house will smell fabulous. Now, I do recommend that you don't do too many because then it becomes overpowering and then it's now you have a headache because you've put too many of them. You can also put them in your car. You just grab one of these. Um, I would only use half. Put it in this little satchel, put it under your seat, or you can hang it from your rear view mirror if it's legal in your state um, because I heard somebody was shot behind that. But just saying, um, these produce a really pretty smell and your house will be smelling fabulous for a dollar okay just so just an idea and the very last item for real this time is a sure sense lemon since we were on the topic of lemon i went ahead and bought this because i like this kind of scent not florals for the bathroom and for the kitchen i tend to go with the lemon scents and sure sense has proven to be a really uh, good product um there's another one that i buy or i purchase from them and it works fabulous okay guys so this brings this dollar tree haul to a finito all the winners did come forward um the four that were drawn and all their packages have already shipped um the first three that responded theirs are going to arrive on the six um and the last one which was marla her, um, hi Marla, your package is going to arrive on the 7th, um, but I've already emailed you guys that information. So as soon as I hit my new goal, I will be giving out those new totes and I'm also going to be working on Father's Day little gift totes. Um, I'll be announcing that in an upcoming video. I got to start working on putting stuff together. Look forward to seeing you guys again in my next haul. Um, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Catch you at the Dollar Tree.